Hello, my name is Evan Dyson. I'm with FMWRC Public Affairs, and today I'm going to show you something you may or may not be familiar with. Twitter has rolled out a new format for Twitter.com, their website. So we're going to show you the comparison between the old and between the new. If you don't have the new yet, don't worry, they're rolling it out um, in a preview phase. So if you don't have it now, you'll eventually get it. So here we are at twitter.com slash familymwr, the Twitter account that is for the MWR command. If you're not already, go ahead and follow us. We'd love to have you. What we're looking at right now is the old format, which hopefully you're all familiar with if you're using Twitter. And this is for the web-based Twitter. What I'm about to talk about doesn't affect third-party applications yet. So when you're looking at your Twitter account, this is how things will look in the old format. But in the new format, there are a few things different. So we'll go ahead and go through those. I'm going to switch to the new format. First thing you'll notice is probably that the format is a lot wider. You have this area over here. And you might say, well, why is that even necessary? Well, here's something that they've added in. They've added some features that you you could find on the old format too, but they put them more in your face. For example, you can find out which lists you were recently added to. You can see some of your recent followers, just a select few right up here. And you can also see the trends, which was on the old format, but you also see your suggestions with little icons for things that they think you should follow. So we'll go ahead and follow armed with science. Thought we were. So now one of the things that used to be the case, if you wanted to learn more about a user, for example the DOD right here, if you click this on the old format it would take you to their page. But not anymore. If you click on an individual tweet now, it opens it on this side. And when you open any individual tweet, it'll show that tweet, but it will also show discussion about that. So for example, the Department of Defense retweeted something that we had posted, and you can also see other mentions of the hashtags that they use here. So, for example, Gov 2.0, these are other people who would use that hashtag. These are other people who'd use the social media tag. And when you go to other sections, you can also see what conversation is happening that's involving this account. What else are they saying? So you can see a few more of their posts. If you want to see their account, you can click on their name and you can see a bigger list. Now the other thing that this allows for is embedded media. And by that what I mean is you can see photos and videos and a few other things right in twitter.com. So let's take a look. For example, DOD Mill or DOD Live Mill. When we open this tweet, they had linked to a picture and because they had linked to that picture, that picture displays right here. Before you used to hop out of, you used to have to hop out of Twitter, and now you don't. It's right here. So that's really pretty neat. Everything at your fingertips that you would need to follow along with the conversation. One other thing that I'll point out also that's a change that they've made. If multiple people are mentioned in a post. For example, the USO wrote uh, a retweet that had a few people listed in it. You should know, if you hit reply, it'll list everybody that was mentioned in that tweet. So by default, you'll reply to everyone. If you don't want to reply to everyone, just take that out. And then you can go ahead and write your post. So give it a look. Let us know what you think and follow family and MWR command.